what is going on everyone welcome to today's video my name is mike and if you guys haven't noticed already we are in the no gps profile and today's video is going to be going over some of the mods that you need in order to start a no gps profile for yourself Alrighty, so here we are in the game. We are on the uh, on. We are on. <laughs> we are on the no GPS profile, guys. If you guys are a follower of this series, it will be coming back. I do promise you. I'm just waiting on a few tiny little things to update. But a lot of you guys have been asking me, "Hey, Mike, I want to start my own no GPS. How do I do it? What mods do I need? What settings do I need?" So this video is going to be for you guys. If you guys want to start your little journey there on a no GPS profile. Now, if you guys are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also give it a thumbs up if you do enjoy the video and the content. We're also live over on the Twitch side, usually Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, usually pretty much almost every day. But um, guys, go over there. You guys, we do some random giveaways every now and then. Of course, we'll be doing some giveaways when we hit 3,000 followers here or subscribers, I should say, here on the YouTube. We are aiming for 1,000 follows on Twitch. Cannot thank you guys for all the recent support and all that fun stuff gotta always give it back to the hammerhead nation here real quick guys let's jump right in we're gonna go back to our mod manager that is where a majority of the changes are you gonna need um now again here's a disclaimer i still am in the process of organizing the mod order here do not copy my order this order is going to be based on pretty much what you guys want to have in the profile but there are a few mods that are must have mods that you need in order to make this work now we're gonna go show you those exact ones that you need so i'm gonna scroll on down and let's start right here the no roadblock and everything passable this is on the steam workshop so it's pretty much gonna get rid of those yellow rng kind of x's there behind the road there is a setting also in the settings i will show you to check off and this right here is gonna be and if you want to or if you don't want to, this makes it a little bit difficult. And I should say that for the purpose of the video, the way I have my profile set up is if you guys had like an easy, medium, hard difficulty, this is like veteran. Um, this is insane. This is quite stupid <laughs> because some of the things that we had to do on this profile are really insane. And uh, I purposely chose it that way. You don't have to choose it that way. You could actually have it toned down a little bit and still have just as much fun. But I have it on pretty much the extreme difficulty. Why? I don't know. I just kept going for it, and then here I am. So that is what this mod is going to be. Pretty much one of those mods that are going to be on how you want your difficulty to be, right? So if you're going down the road and you make a wrong turn, you're not going to hit that road barrier, which means you're either A, going to drive off the map, B, run into an invisible wall, or get completely lost for hours. Uh, if you do keep this mod on, then you obviously know that you are going the wrong way. But uh, I, again, made it that much more harder for me. Why? I don't know, but I did. So that is one of the mods right there you can use. Um, this right here, the Daniel's Random Events mod. So what this does is it changes the variance of of the road events the detours and all that kind of fun stuff it does not it does not change how often you see these things that is dealt with something different in the game which i will show you what this does is pretty much allowing you so when you're going down the road you don't always see the dump trailer flipped over or you don't always see the cop pulled over with the fender bender there are six hundred different variants here of all which you could see going down the road which will pretty much allow you to have a different experience every time you come into a detour i know everybody here has seen the dump trailer flipped over or the logs on the ground but this will allow you to have a little bit more of a different dynamic of accidents dot stops stuff like that as you are traveling the roads this is found on the steam workshop i will leave a link in the description down below to it and you guys can check this out for yourself this doesn't add any difficulty to the game. It literally will just add a different variety of things to see. 
Um, I run this usually in my main profile as well, but I figured since it's in here, I might as well go over it again. This right here is the meat and potatoes. Right here, the hide player position. There are two different types of mod for this. This is the harder of the two. This one here says it not only hides the blue triangle GPS fix icon, but also makes the roads all discovered. Now, all the roads will be yellow, but the explored will still show what you've explored. Now, as you guys do know, I am going for 100% completion on this, which is also probably going to give me gray hair before I reach the age of 40 or probably even 35. However, this is the... What's the word for it? The, the creme of the, creme of the crop right is that what they say i don't know this is making it pretty much the impossible mode uh because as you guys know i am going for 100 percent, and with all the roads yellow i don't know where i am at i don't know where i'm headed it is literally 100 percent guaranteed you have to read the signs and i'll explain what that means here in the game what i mean is where i have no idea where i mean because there is some little little some easy mode i could show you which i was using earlier which is perfectly fine but again, like I said, I chose the hard life. The hard life did not choose me. I don't know why. But this is also on the Steam Workshop here. Or I'm sorry, on the SCS Forum. Boom, right there. I'll put a link down in the description below for this one. There is also the other one I'll show you, which I am not running. But I believe if I type in like no G... P yeah, right here. No GPS player icon. This just gets rid of the icon. Okay, also there on the Steam Workshop. Or uh, damn it, Mike. <laughs> also on the SCS Forum. So... There are two different ones you can use. Pretty much this will be either easy, medium, or hard difficulty. This is like the medium one. Obviously, the one I'm using is the, uh, why are you doing this kind of mode? But there is two of them, and you could choose whichever one you so choose to use. It doesn't really make that much of a difference. I will show you the difference that it does make, but both of them can be found on the farms. And uh, I'm just letting you guys know that this is the one that I am currently using. I do use the increased delivery time. Now, the increased delivery time, you're probably wondering, like, why are you using the increased delivery time? Because, obviously, we're driving around and we don't know where we are. Now, if I did not use this mod, uh, this is a little cheat game. I get it. So, maybe we're not playing on the impossible difficulty. But, you listen, guys. I'm not going to drive around for 10 hours and be late on every single load. We're never going to get anywhere with it. We'll never have enough money. We'll always be broke. They'll probably repossess the truck. Uh, then we'll be on the corner with a sign that says, please, 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 I need money. This just gives me a little bit more of a buffer zone on, hey, I can get lost for a little bit and I can at least, you know, enjoy it, have some good times. Even if we bring this back to the live streams, you know, we could have some fun with it, interact and all that. And I can, don't have to worry about really getting it there on time. Gives me a little bit of extra time. Now, this is something you can use, not use, whatever you so choose. Uh, other than that, that is going to be the only mod in here that I'm using uh, that is going to be necessary per se for the no gps to work the rest of it is going to be all here in the game settings so when the game loads up here i will show you exactly what we're using okay so here we are back in the game let's go into the options and gameplay you're going to want to copy my settings right here i do use fatigue simulation and the traffic events because i do want to have accidents and i do want to have sleep time um you know, if I have an accident where I run the red light or something, I want to be held accountable. I kind of play this profile in a very RP style. We get out, we do pre-trips, we check the truck, do all that kind of fun stuff. Um, so I do try to keep it in somewhat form realistic as possible. Uh, keep route advisor hidden. I have that check marked on. This way, when I roll up to a fuel stop, way station, or even when I go deliver my load, nothing pops up. It kind of gives you that realism feel of nothing being on the screen. Map alignment, north lock, show navigation. Never. I don't want to see it. Never. <laughs> navigation mode doesn't matter what we pick here because we have never selected. And the parking difficulty, I always put random. I personally put random because I like it to be a random spot every time I go to places. You guys can choose skilled, safe, always select. I always put random. Um, I like to, I, listen, I like sometimes the spots to be easy to back into or pull forward through. Sometimes I like it a little to be a challenge. Sometimes it always be the way, <laughs> sometimes it's always the way where I don't really want it to make it a challenge and I get there and it is a challenge. So now right here, 
the random road events and detours. This is what controls how often you're going to see the detours or the road events. It does not make a difference if you have no Daniels or Daniels. You could have 10,000 road events. It doesn't matter. It's a matter of how you have this slider. The slider here is going to adjust on how often you see it. The only thing that Daniels does is changes it out from being, whether it be a dump trailer rolled over, fender bender, blown tire, vice versa. You guys get the drift. That is going to be that right there. Uh, rain, I always have cracked down a little bit. And uh, all the settings right here are pretty much going to be the same. All my automatic stuff is off. I have air brake simulation on, real fuel consumption. Uh, emergency brake systems off. I don't even know what that even is. Um, adaptive cruise control. Not a fan of cruise control in real life to begin with. But uh, have that off. Of course, all of our regular stuff down there. And if I go into the game here, I will show you guys real quick uh, the map and what the GPS icon does and what the other one does as well. So here we are at the repair shop right now. Looking large. We've been here for like, what, a month? Jesus Lord. And there's a little edit right there. So let me show you guys what the map looks like here in the game with the all roads yellow, right? So you'll see all the roads are yellow here. All the towns I haven't been are in white. We still have only 8.9 for 8.95 percent actually completed. Uh, I'm actually down here in Yuma. I'm actually at this little area here. But as you see, everything is yellow, right? So if I was using the other mod um, that just hid the triangle, let's just say I came this way and I came into here and I stopped here. All this would be gray, right? So in my head, it would kind of be like, well, then I definitely know where to go if I had to go back this way. Like, I would know because the road is gray. I've never been there. So like, I can kind of get an idea of where I'm at and where I had to go like without having to absolutely rely on the signs um with all my roads yeller here now i have absolutely zero choice i have to rely on the signs because i cannot see if i if like if i didn't play the game in a couple of days and i just log in i'm like uh oh where the hell did i come from did i come from peterbilt did i come from here did i go over here like it really does make the difficulty mode a little bit more difficult uh in the beginning in the earlier episodes we were using the regular one um like I said, I got no problem with that one. I liked using it. But of course, me, I want to make my life that much harder. Uh, as you guys know, we are shooting for the 100%, which sounds pretty much impossible. But we got plenty of time. Uh, plenty of time. We got a lot of places to go, a lot of places to be, a lot of people to meet. But uh, that is what that does. So it's all yellow. <laughs> yellow. And uh, we get to also see that what we have explored. So it doesn't really just give you the 100% right off the bat. But as I get closer to the 100%, I'll be taking that mod off. And then probably just getting a better idea of where to head toward. Uh, because obviously, guys, you know, it's going to be impossible uh, if I, like, accidentally, like, missed, like, you know, this little square here or something. And I was driving around for like 10 years trying to find it. You know, it's not worth it, but it is still a game. We still need to have some fun, but hope that gives you guys a little bit of an insight there on what I'm using. The no GPS profile will be making its triumphant return sooner than later. Uh, I am just waiting on hopefully if this truck is going to be updated uh, sooner than later. I did see that Mr. FLX was working on doing an extended hood model of this truck, which will be really cool because the coolest thing about this truck is if we go inside, look how much hood you see already. So you got to figure we'll be that much further out, but uh, I do love this truck very, very much. And uh, I also love this profile a lot. So if you guys do like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Hopefully that's answered your questions. And let me know down in the comment section. Are you guys going to be jumping in, trying to do a no GPS profile yourself? Definitely let me know. And also let me know what truck you guys are going to be rolling with. You know, we chose the 359 going old school here, kind of with like what they did in the 80s and the early 90s. Of course, guys, no GPS in the truck if you guys are going to be doing that. So, uh... Let me know down in the comment section what you guys are doing. If you guys are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to hit that thumbs up if you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys have a good day wherever you are. As always, you guys know it. Keep the hammer down, and I will catch you on the flipper. Peace.